Hello, I'm Olivia Tan. I'm the author of two cookbooks which are Chinese Flavors and Spoons Full of Love Cookbook, Best in the World Gourmet Award winner in 2019. Today I'd like to share with you a recipe which is the sous vide char siu chicken. The ingredients to prepare are free range chicken, garlic peeled, caster sugar, white pepper powder, honey, Shaoxing wine, oyster sauce, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce from Feng He Garden. You also need some cherry tomatoes, Japanese cucumber and coriander leaves for garnishing. You also need water and lemon juice for sous vide cooking and also a bowl of water for water immersion method. You will need a stasher bag and today I'd like to introduce you to our latest accessory which is the blade cover. The blade cover is used for slow cook mode and also for sous vide cooking. With the blade cover, you can transform our thermal mix to a slow cooker and a sous vide machine. This blade cover is suitable for TM5 and TM6. So how to get it? Right now we have limited stocks available. So if you're not get your hands on on your thermal mix yet, all you need to do is purchase a thermal mix and recommend 3 to 5 friends to a demonstration and you can redeem your blade cover and also other gifts as well. If you're an existing customer, you can order it from your advisor or via our online store and it will be delivered to you in mid-June or early July depending on when you place your order. Today we have 30 prizes to be given away Thank you to Feng He Garden for sponsoring the gifts. All you need to do is remember to like and share the Facebook Live and answer 5 quizzes. Remember to type your answer in the comments below and we will pick the lucky winner to win our prizes. Prizes are generously sponsored by Feng He Garden. Quiz number 1. What can Thermomix Blade Cover transform our Thermomix to? So right now we're going to marinate the chicken. So I'm going to mix all the sauces. So mix it well together. So you can uh, marinate for an hour and um, I like to marinate it overnight as well. Okay and for those of you who are working you can actually do this before you head off to work and um, after work you can just place the special bag with your marinated meat into um, the thermal mix to sous vide and then you can probably take a shower and uh, prepare other ingredients for cooking as well. Okay, so mix well and then after that, we're going to place the chicken. Okay, so I'm going to place the chicken in the special bag. And then, add in all the sauces. Seal the bag tightly. You can also sous vide seafood such as fish and cuttlefish, um, perhaps some eggs such as onsen eggs and poached eggs, also root vegetables such as carrots and asparagus, and also fruits. So now I'm going to place this in the refrigerator to marinate for an hour. This has been pre-marinated for an hour. 
So now I'm going to show you how to do sous vide. You can do sous vide by either using the simmering basket or the blade cover for larger volume. There are two ways to do sous vide. The first way is by using the vacuum sealing method which you need to use food safe vacuum sealer bags. Okay, and this will actually airtight the sealing bags for you to use with the vacuum sealing machines. The second way is by using the water immersion method which I'll be showing you now. You need to use freezer safe ziplock bags or the stasher bag which is more environmental friendly. Okay, now I'm going to chop some garlic. So place the garlic to chop for 5 seconds. Let's beat 5. Okay. And then I'm going to add this to the marinated chicken. Quiz 2 is, besides meat, what other types of ingredients can you sous vide? Okay, and then we have to just um, mix well. So now I'm going to show you the water immersion method. Seal the bag till it's about 3cm open. Okay, place the bag in the water. The pressure from the water will push the air and you have to quickly seal it completely. That's it! So easy! Quiz 3. What are the two methods of sous vide? So right now, I'm going to rinse the bowl because I'm going to show you how to insert the blade cover. So now I'm going to show you how to insert the blade cover. So ensure that you see the Voac logo on top, okay, and then just insert it right on top of the mixing knife. Next, insert the stasher bag into the mixing bowl. Add water. Ensure that it does not um, exceed the maximum level marking. After that, remove the bag. Add some lemon juice into the mixing bowl. The lemon juice actually helps to prevent oxidation of the mixing knife. Thermomix has a unique feature which is perfect for sous vide which is the precise temperature control by the degree. So now I'm going to warm up the water by using the kettle mode. At 75 degrees. The benefits of cooking the sous vide method is that it retains the moisture and also the flavour of the food, which is a healthier way of cooking. And tough meats such as beef or lamb it will actually be tenderized. So quiz 4, what is the unique feature about Thermomix sous vide method of cooking? So it took about 10 to 15 minutes to warm up the water. So next I'm going to place the stasher bag into the mixing bowl using a tong because it's hot. Okay. 
Ensure the bag is resting on the blade cover. Next, go to the sous vide mode. Set the time for 1 hour and 15 minutes at 75 degrees. Here are some tips for you. When using the blade cover, ensure that you do not go beyond 100 degrees and speed 1. And remember to activate reverse mode. Quiz number 5 is, what are the benefits of using the sous vide mode? When you receive the blade cover, there's a user manual which you can refer. Because when you cook different types of meat, it will require um, different timing and also the weight of the ingredients may also um, have different water level when you do the sous vide method of cooking. Okay, so remember to refer to this manual which is in the packaging. It's ready! So remember to use the tong when removing the stasher bag. So after sous vide, you can also sear the meat to enhance the flavour and also for further food safety measures. Wow, mm, I can smell the aroma of the char siu chicken. Wow, it looks really delicious. some of the sauce okay. and the sauces you can actually place it in a bowl and uh, add it to the rice as well next I'm going to garnish with um, some cherry tomatoes some cucumber and some coriander leaves so I'm just going to add this at the side. joining my Facebook live today. I hope you enjoyed this recipe which I've shared with you. Happy cooking!